Okay, here we've got a wire loop that's uh, joined to a car battery, and at the end of the wire loop here, we've got a bare copper wire and have a compass here, which is in the Earth's magnetic field, and we have another compass here, which is also in the Earth's magnetic field. This compass here, you can see, is below the copper wire, and this compass here is sitting on top of the copper wire. So we're going to touch the um, battery get the clip and we'll touch it on there and we'll see what happens to the compasses when we touch the battery. I'll just get in on this compasses. Yeah. Touch the battery and you'll see that that one is turned around. See? Now I'll see what happens to this one here. See it doesn't change, only moves just a tiny bit, see? Connecting, connecting, connecting. But this one here turns around. The north pole of the needle faces towards the center of the loop of the wire. Loop of wire. But on on top of the wire, the south pole always faces the center of the loop of wire. So when the current's running, we have a north pole in the center of the wire and the south pole pointing to the center of the loop of wire. That's because of the um, right hand twist that the electricity makes as it goes through the wire. Okay, this time I've got the red lead hooked up to the negative of the battery and I'm going to tap the black lead onto the positive so the positive current is going to go this way and we should see that this compass here will stay the way it is and this compass here will turn around 180 degrees so I'll focus in on this compass here and I'll tap the battery and there you can see it's turned around and the other one stayed the same and now it's gone back again I'll tap the battery again there it is it's changed and that one stays the same Now the earth's got hold of it again, and I'll just let it steady, and then I'll tap the battery again, and you'll see it changes. So you've got a north pole there facing inwards, and there you've got the south pole facing inwards.